my brothers and sisters in Christ, I wanted to come on here and do a quick video today because I was doing a study yesterday and it has to do with the Smita year. And we're in a Smita Sabbath year right now, 5782 on the um, Jewish calendar. And that started September 2nd, 2021 and it ends September 26, 2022. Well, what I find interesting is I came across a passage online that I was studying and it started talking about second Kings, um, and just, um, different passages that correlated with that Isaiah 37, 30, Leviticus 25, five, and, um, John 10, 28 through 29. And what this was talking about was the reaping of a sapaya. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it is forbidden during a Sabbath year prohibition of reaping in an ordinary way, such as with a sickle, but permitted to be plucked in a limited way by one's own hands for one's immediate needs during the Sabbath year. So, uh, you know, what was what word stood out to me when I was looking at this study was the word plucked. Because if you go to 726 in Hebrew, the definition is harpazo. And that's where we get this whole, um, you know, caught up, the rapture. And harpazo is um, used 13 times in the King James word. And it means to catch up, to take by force, to catch away, and to pluck. And so, you know, as you go throughout the Bible, you'll see in the book of Genesis, when Noah um, and his family, you know, got on the ark before the flood hit. And um, then not only that, you know, when um, Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt, Jesus parted the Red Sea, you know, God parted the Red Sea. And so, and then when Lot, the angels told him he had to leave, you know, Sodom and Gomorrah and him and his wife and two daughters, they went to go leave. But the thing is, our God's always been a God that's right on time. His timing has always been perfect timing. And so I just want to encourage you today, no matter what you're going through, no matter what circumstances look like, no matter what you see on the news or hear on the media, you know, don't let that dictate your life or how you feel because God wants us to have a spirit of peace through all this. You know, he wants us to be calm when going through these storms of life. Um, because we have him as our faith, as our rock, as our shield, you know, every day put on the full armor, say, Lord, you know what? I put on the belt buckle of truth, the shoes of the preparation of the gospel, the helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit, the shield of faith, the breastplate of righteousness. I'm ready to go out today, Lord. And I pray that you would use me, Father God, lead me, Father God. And so uh, I just wanted to share with you, and I'll leave the links below for this study and for Harpazo on BibleStudyTools.com, but I just wanted to read to you again, um, you know, reaping of a tapaya is forbidden during a Sabbath year. Prohibition of reaping is in, in an ordinary way, such as by use of a sickle, but it is permitted to be plucked in a limited way by one's own hands for one's immediate needs during the Sabbath year, you know. We all see what's going on, you know, wars and rumors of wars, Russia, China, might about to invade Ukraine, Syria, Israel, Iran. We see all these people, um, you know, we see all the protests for freedom going on in Germany, Australia, Austria, um, you know, around the world, Canada, you know, I, I pray for you know, that God would reach out to these people, that he would bring them comfort, strength, provisions during this time. You know, we need to pray for our, our different countries. We need to pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ across the world that are suffering persecution during this time. Um, you know, sadly, you know, we're in a time of a great delusion. I'm sure that you guys see it, you know, you hear it, um, you know, just stay in prayer, stay in your word. Um, you know, if you need prayer, please comment below and I'll keep you in my prayer. I have a prayer box. I'll add you to my prayer list. 
you know, or reach out to me on my email, which I'll also leave below, you know, but, um, I don't think nothing's impossible for our God. And I believe that even though we're in a Smita year, like I just read you, I still believe that Jesus can come and pluck us, harpazo us out at just the right moment. So I want to encourage you today to keep on the full armor and keep the faith because our Lord Jesus Christ, he is coming for us soon. God bless brothers and sisters. Have a great day.